Nebraska's in the driver's seat, Penn State on the back burner. Still a critical game in the Big Ten race in Lincoln on Saturday. Mark Rogers TV on the Huskers and Nittany Lions. Both teams at 4-1 in the Big Ten, but you know the deal with Penn State. A four-year postseason ban can't go to the Big Ten championship game, although the commissioner says that Penn State or Ohio State would be recognized as division champion. Again, can't go to the Big Ten championship game in Indianapolis. For Nebraska, their 4-1 record buys a whole lot more. Tied for first place with Michigan, and of course the Huskers beat the Wolverines head-to-head, -head, so Nebraska's got a clear path to Indianapolis. But first, got to get by Penn State. That's not going to be easy. Let's talk offense. Nebraska's been prolific at times. 487 yards per game total offense. That's number one in the Big Ten. That's fifth in the country. But actually, Penn State's been the bigger surprise. Fourth in total offense in the Big Ten out of 12 teams. And we know what Penn State's brought to the table in recent years offensively. They've been pedestrian. The big difference is the coaching of Bill O'Brien. Coming from the NFL's New England Patriots, he has brought schemes to Penn State. He's coached up the offense, and specifically quarterback Matt McGloin, a different player. 18 touchdowns, three interceptions this season. He leads the Big Ten in total passing yards per game. Matt McGloin is making the plays, and Penn State is scoring points. This team is more exciting than any Penn State offense we've seen in, well, it seems like forever, but let's go back to the 2008 Rose Bowl team. With Daryl Clark at quarterback, they had the three great wide receivers, the little guys, Deion Butler, Jordan Norwood, and Derek Williams, and of course, Evan Royster at running back. Back to this year's team, and not necessarily Evan Royster at running back, but Zach Zwinnick. And if you haven't watched Penn State in recent weeks, you've probably never heard of this guy. He only had two carries going into week four. He's now got 400 yard games, including a buck 34 against Purdue and a 34 9 win. Zach Zwinnick is the guy. And Allen Robinson has become the guy at wide receiver for Matt McGloin. They lost to Justin Brown to Oklahoma. He's got 35 receptions for the Sooners, one of the defectors. But uh, Allen Robinson has picked up a slack in a big way. The sophomore leads the Big Ten in receiving at 57 receptions per game. Uh, 57, actually, for the season. Eight touchdowns for Robinson. So Penn State getting the job done on offense for the first time in a while. For Nebraska, again, number one in the Big Ten in total offense, number one in rushing, fifth in the nation in rushing, and Taylor Martinez has seen a huge difference in his running lanes. Let's talk running first because the offensive line has done a great job in the ground game for the running backs, but also for Taylor Martinez in the passing game. He doesn't hold on to the football as much, and he's taken off, which means 3.8 yards per carry last year, 5.9. That's a huge difference this season. And Taylor Martinez making better decisions in the passing game. We heard that he improved his mechanics. We can't really recognize it, but the results are the results. 18 touchdowns and 8 picks for Taylor Martinez as he is second in the Big Ten to Braxton Miller in total offense. Rex Burkett, the bread and butter of this ground game in recent years. He's been banged up, so Amir Abdullah has picked up the slack. The sophomore is at 5.5 yards per carry. He's racked up five 100-yard games, eight touchdowns on the ground for this prolific rushing offense at 270 yards per game. Again, fifth in the country. So Nebraska has ripped it up on offense, but the defense has been spotty. Is the defense improved? Well, in certain games, yeah, but look at the UCLA and Ohio State games. Nebraska, again, got completely annihilated, and Michigan State put up some points against them certainly last week, as did Northwestern. But these two defenses lead the Big Ten with 24 sacks each. The difference we see in this game is the running ability of Taylor Martinez. Matt McGloin's going to stay in the pocket. Martinez, of course, gives Nebraska that dual threat. Nebraska's at home. That's a huge factor. And they've got better speed, more speed than Penn State in certain spots. What's going for Penn State here is that they're a very disciplined football team, much more than Nebraska. Nebraska is negative nine in turnover margin. They've got to clean that up. That is last, worst in the Big Ten. But with the Huskers, having gotten by Penn State, if that happens, just Minnesota and Iowa 
in the way toward a Big Ten championship game in Indianapolis. We think the Huskers get it done in a really good game, 27-23 over Penn State. Now we need to hear from you on Penn State, Nebraska on Mark Rogers TV.